And any discussion about color wouldn't be complete unless you talked about outlines as well. We just affected the fills in a previous movie. Well, if you select this circle and click on a color, that's what we just did. But if you right-click on a color, it affects the outline. Sometimes the outlines are very, very thin and they're subtle. Other times the outline's very, very thick, depending on the illustration you're working with. So left-click for fill, right-click for outline. And when you're dragging a color from your color palette over to an object, when I place it inside, you can see this would, if I dropped it right now, this would fill the square with green. If I move over to the outline, you notice how my color swatch changes? And it indicates that I can drop it on the outline and affect the outline color. So when you're working with your outlines, you can affect their color this way. As well, I should point out the two areas where you can adjust the thickness. From the outline dialog here, this flyout menu allows you to go from no outline at all. We just click that, and you see it removes the outline entirely from that circle. Or you can have a hairline outline, that's by default, very, very faint. And it moves up to half a point, full point, 2, 4, 8, 16, so on, so on. You can get a very, very, very thick outline from there. And that dialog is mirrored up here in the property bar to make it quick for you to access. And in this dialog in the property bar, you can type in a custom number. So if you want a 15, for example, you can put that in and press Enter, and your outline will adjust accordingly.